what is up guys welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna go over four new super rares that bandai went ahead and um revealed to us granted we say reveal but we was definitely spoiled um through leaks of this last week i believe and uh we've known about these if you're like on twitter and stuff like that we've known about these like for at least a week now but let's go ahead and get into it we have one of each color right now um yesterday um uh, the Japanese uh, stream, they went ahead and showed off all four of these super rares uh, through one of their Ahsoka, um, I said Ahsoka, I think it's pronounced Ahsoka, but their Japanese um, stream last night of a tournament. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. We have our four drop Kefla, has 10K combo and 20K power. That right there, the 10K combo is gonna be really, really good. The fact that is 10K combo is fascinating right so um this kefla is so good it's just a one drop technically within the sun goku leader so let's go over to sun goku leader real quick it's activate main once per turn you can tap one energy discard one card from your hand play up to one battle card with 20k power or less with the tournament of power and special traits um on the card and you're able to uh, go ahead and play that card so basically this kefla and um it basically has all that into one it has 20k power and it has the uh tournament power special trait on the bottom right there so technically instead of a four drop uh you can play this in like other red decks but instead of uh tapping four of this you can just pitch a card and um tap one energy and there you have it. you have a 20k kefla um on the board so it has a permit if your leader is awakened this card gains 5k power so technically that's 5k power on um on on board but it's 20k power in the hand right so technically you just uh discarded one card for a 25k beater so that's actually pretty good but on play you draw one card so technically you um gained that card that you pitched to play this card right back so that's great but you get to play up to one battle card with the energy cost of three or less it has the tournament power uh special trait in its hand so basically for one energy um, you basically spam two cards on your opponents. Uh, I mean, on your on your side of the field towards your opponent. So that's actually great, great, great pressure against especially like green and yellow. Um, this great pressure uh, all around just for one energy, technically, because you do discard that card, but you gain that card right back because Kefla does draw that one card. So this card is definitely just going to um, just choose board presence against your opponent. And uh, the fact we haven't seen a lot of tournament power cards, I think this is only our first one. And um, I think there's like a, I wanna say there's a, not a universe six card, but I wanna say there's like a universe two card that's a tournament power card that might have been spoiled or not. I could be thinking of another card or not. Um, or maybe like a, there's a set one card that has tournament power. I'm I'm not too sure, or I'm just lying <laughs> right now. But um, yeah, I think Kefla is just a, a very very solid card in general, just for one energy, uh, spam out two cards, and it's a 25k. Very very good. I do like this card. All right, now we guys we have the monster that we've been waiting for, guys. Uh, the, I think the only problem with this card. It's not a one drop, it's a two drop, but the two drop is actually pretty fine um, for what it does. So it's a two drop Fuse Zamasu, not Fuse Zamasu, but a two drop Zamasu, 5K combo. So that's great that it does have at least some type of combo power, but has 20K attack power also. So I do like it that the fact that it's actually like an attackable card because the one drop Zamasu is from set one. They're all like 10Ks and 5Ks, I believe. I think the skillless one was 15K but I can't remember um, so far, but yeah, this 20K uh, power, very, very solid. I do like this card, uh, but has a permanent. This card can't be removed by, your, um, can't be removed from the battle area by your opponent's skills. So like say if you're playing against uh, a blue trunks leader, that trunks leader cannot bounce that Zamasu back to their hand, right? So that's actually pretty good. I do like this card uh, a lot. The only cards that can actually um, get rid of this card efficiently is red red it has the ability to neg the power down uh you can neg this down to zero but then the game's mechanics will um kill this card and 
unfortunately but yeah that's how just how that's how uh the game goes but uh when attacking you discard one card and draw one card so it's just basically like a cycle uh that's very very popular um not, not popular but i mean yeah it's popular um very very efficient uh for a card to dig through your um through your deck but then but it's just, this is just basically a great support for your goku black leader um from set one the fact that you're able to bottom deck this card then able to um cheat this card out cheat a six drop goku black out that you definitely want to um, get out uh like as soon as possible uh this goku black is ridiculous that the fact that it's a six six drop was a 40k um on play you're able to display a um a four drop I mean, you add, you're able to add a card that's four drop or less back to your hand. Then when this card attacks, if you have seven or fewer cards, you're able to cheat out a card that's four or less from your hand. Uh, that's just when attacking. So say if this card survives somehow, it, it should survive because it's a six drop 40K. Um, it can swing again and don't, don't get multiple Goku Blacks on the field because if you do, it's a wrap this goku black is actually pretty good um it just don't get too much play because there's not an efficient zamasu that can stay on board uh but now we do have that with the super rare but then we have the one drop gawasu from set one there's just a searcher for zamasu look at the top five cards you can grab any goku black or zamasu and add it to your hand so this card is just great for goku black um i mean I guess it's going to be great for the blue zamasu uh leader but we haven't seen too much support for that just yet but the goku black leader most definitely uh this leader is going to be it's going to see some play um next set um yeah i'm actually pretty excited so the zamasu uh is definitely definitely going to be a four of within the goku black deck and next we have our one drop boma this one drop boma is actually really insane right so it's a one drop 5k combo with 5k power it has an activate battle switch this card to rest mode you can add up to one card from your life to your hand so self-awaken that's really good right then you get to choose one uh choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with uh four or less and switch it to rest mode or you can, uh, if you have a rest mode, if you have a rest mode battle card with entry cost three or more, you get to draw one card. Uh, the fact that this is an activate battle, you can do this on your opponent's turn also. Um, so that's actually really good. Uh, this card right here, this card right here, and especially in um, the Frieza deck. Oh my goodness! The fact that you're able to just restand this card is actually really good. So say for the starter Frieza deck. Uh, since this is activate battle, you you restand this uh, at the end of your turn um, on your opponent's turn, and since you have like multiple cards on your on your field, for instance, say if you have a four drop cooler in your um, rest it, uh, you can use this activate battle rest this card, and since you have a three drop or more, you can draw one card on your opponent's turn and stuff like that. It's just like really cool scenarios that you can do with yellow, and yellow is just really good um, shenanigans you can, that you can do. Uh, I just put the Vegeta here because it's the it's the leader of the set. <laughs> but yeah, this Bulma is just very generic. Uh, it's probably going to be like a four of and maybe in, in almost every yellow leader deck. Maybe maybe not Ginyu, but I can see this Bulma being. Um, just amazing all right and lastly guys we got a super rare trunks future it's a three drop 5k combo with 20k power uh this card does go directly with um you can go directly with any green deck but i think it would go well with cell um and gohan and broly but i don't think um i don't think it'll do too well with the androids but um yeah most definitely with the cell since on play if you have five or more energy add up to one card from your top of your deck to your energy in rest mode um the fact that you just uh ramp twice on your opponent i mean on your turn it's actually really good with this card especially when you get to the, your five energy um you just activate your leader effect ramp then you play um of the trunks and you get a ramp again but auto once per turn when your battle card with energy cost five or more is removed from your battle area by your opponent's skill this card gains 10k power for the, until the end of your next turn i think that effect is like very mediocre just okay i mean yeah you have a three drop 30k but sure that's cool and if it's a card that's being removed on your opponent's turn 
like it's just on your opponent's turn so you just have a three drop 30k on your opponent's turn i think this card is just really just okay to tell you the truth um it doesn't replace um strength um the extra card the destructive strength i don't think so because you have to have five or more energy just to in order to play this card i think this card is like a mid to late game card obviously but i think this card is just okay at best but i think this is um granted i'm probably going to be playing cell next set um because i played red this past set but um i think i think every super rare is actually really good uh but um i think this amasu really got me this amasu but then this Kefla is actually really dope also, but then the Boma, then the Trunks. But I'm actually really excited for the Goku Black deck um, next set. Uh, but other than that, guys, let me know what you guys think about uh, the four new Super Rares um, out of Blazing Aura, FBO2. And I'll catch you guys later. Go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.